There's a bit of an interesting situation developing in the lightweight division, or around that weight anyway, with Devin Haney, Regis Progre, Shakur Stevenson, and the WBC. Now, some of you are going to be aware that Devin Haney sent a bit of a uh, low ball, or depending on who you ask, a bit of a low ball offer to Shakur Stevenson. I don't personally think it was too much of a low ball offer, considering Devin Haney was undisputed at the time. But he sent over an offer of 25%, and that was rejected by Shakur Stevenson, who then went on to basically petition the WBC to enforce a mandatory on Devin Haney so he can get a shot and obviously get more money, I'm guessing. And on the other hand, Devin Haney is looking to fight Regis Progre. Now, um, it's been reported that that fight has basically been agreed. Uh, I don't know if it's signed yet or made official or whatever, but they're looking at, I think it's October 28th, to stage that fight for Regis Progre's 140 WBA strap. So Devin Haney himself has gone to the WBC to petition them, and essentially what he's trying to do is say, let me go up for one fight, let me take this fight and win, lose or draw, whatever happens, I'm going to come back down, I'm going to defend my undisputed title. So I think that was the angle or the narrative he was trying to push, and that was what he's angling for, to try and go up, have a free fight without having to defend his undisputed crown, and then essentially come back down and get on with life. So he was hoping to be able to do that with the Regis Progre fight, both sides have petitioned the WBC and now it appears that the WBC have come to a decision and I don't think Devin Haney has come off best. It looks like Team Devin Haney or the WBC or whoever has shot Devin Haney in the foot by putting in that request because essentially Devin Haney has now been stripped of his WBC strap and he's been made champion on recess. So he sort of gets what he wants, like where he gets to go up and fight Regis Pro Ray. The only issue is when he comes back down, he's going to have to fight for the WBC belt again. He's champion on recess, so someone else will be fighting for the belt. And essentially, it's going to be Shakur Stevenson fighting for a vacant belt. And then Devin Haney, if he does decide to come back down, he's going to have to fight Shakur Stevenson, providing Shakur Stevenson beats whoever he's fighting. And I can't see Devin Haney winning that fight because he would have made it first time around. I mean, obviously Shakur didn't want it for 25% or whatever, but I don't think Devin Haney was too keen on the idea of that anyway because he decided to go up rather than argue and negotiate a better deal or whatever. But this, as far as I'm concerned, has backfired for a couple reasons. First and foremost, because he wasn't able to hold on to his undisputed crown. He is no longer undisputed. He's been stripped of that title. And when it comes to Devin Haney, that's pretty much the only thing of value for him. So I don't see why he basically sacrificed his undisputed to go for a shot at Regis Prograde. Essentially, if he wanted a shot at a bigger name at 140, he could have gone directly at Teofimo Lopez. As the undisputed champion at 135, he can go straight up and take a shot at Teofimo Lopez. Now, if he loses the Regis Prograde fight, he's not even undisputed anymore. So he would take it now. He won't be undisputed. He won't be able to go for Teofimo Lopez. He's got nothing to mark himself with because the undisputed crown's there. So it's a bit of a crap situation for him to be in. If he goes in there, beats Regis Prograde, then he's got a few more options on the table. But I got Regis Prograde the favourite guy into that fight. I mean, you guys may not agree. That's up to you. But each to their own. But essentially, right, I can't see how Devin Haney's going to be happy about this entire situation. In my opinion, right, when they won the undisputed and they beat Lomachenko, they maybe not outwardly or openly but i think they got the air of i'm the a side i'll do what i want kind of thing so they were just under the impression that they'll be able to go up fight regis pro rate then come back down and it wouldn't be an issue but obviously it is because the wbc aren't having it and they've decided to make him champion in recess i'm guarantee they didn't see that coming and they weren't expecting that they weren't looking to be stripped i mean i think devin haney the other day at the uh bud crawford uh errol spence fight he was giving some interviews saying that he was basically looking to stay undisputed and defend his titles and he was only going to go up for one fight and then come back down. Obviously now if he does go up and he wants to come back down, he's likely have to face Shakur Stevenson and I don't think he wants that work. So I think it's backfired. I don't know what they're going to do. Hopefully for him, his sake anyway, from, from his perspective, if he can beat Regis Progre, at least he's got a few more options. He can remain at 140 and at least uh, he's got a strap there, if you know what I mean. And the unification against a bigger name like Teofimo Lopez may be appealing. So there may be an angle there where they can save it. But if he doesn't beat Prograde, he's going to find himself in a very unique and interesting situation. I don't think he's going to like it. And this all brought on because they decided to, in my opinion, try to play the A side, try to dictate, try to say we're doing this, we're doing that. And obviously I don't think they got big enough name or pull power to have that sway with the WBC because obviously WBC haven't acted favorably towards Devin Haney or at least that's how it looks from where I'm sitting I can't see how this outcome of him not being undisputed anymore being able to go up and then come back down and having to fight someone like Shakur Stevenson to be undisputed again I can't see how that's an outcome that Devin Haney would have wanted surely he would have wanted to hold on to his straps I don't know you guys tell me if you think you see it differently but that's how I got it that's all I got for this one guys like comment share subscribe or don't and I'll catch you on the next one love